Hey guys, today I want to share with you something extraordinary. It's about the fruits of the Holy Spirit. It's mentioned in Galatians 5, verse 22 to 23, where it says, But the fruit of the Holy Spirit is love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, self-control. Against such things, there is no law. Have you ever felt lost, lonely, or without purpose? Life can be so tough, and it can often feel like we're wandering in a desert searching for something to fill the emptiness within us. But there is the beautiful truth. There is hope. It's found in the fruits of the Holy Spirit. Just imagine a life without love, a love that knows no bounds, a love that accepts you just the way you are, brokenness and all. This love can heal even the deepest wounds and bring joy even in the darkest times. It's like being, warm, it's, it's like being wrapped in a warm blanket or a warm embrace that never lets go. A love that can carry us through just anything, just life's toughest storms. And speaking of joy, it's, it's a profound sense of contentment. It's like a gentle rain that nourishes the dry land of our souls. This joy can lift our spirits even when everything around us seems to be falling apart. It's like a light that shines from within, a light that darkness cannot extinguish. In a world that feels like a constant battleground, peace can seem like a distant dream. But there is peace that surpasses all understanding. A peace that can calm the storms raging within us. This peace can anchor us in the midst of chaos and give us hope when we feel like we're drowning. It's like finding an oasis in the middle of the desert, a place of rest, a refreshment for our weary souls. Now let's talk about patience, a virtue that can seem elusive but it's worth cultivating. It's like waiting for the beautiful sunrise after a long, dark night. We become stronger. Patience teaches us trust in God's perfect timing, to surrender control, to find peace in the journey, even when there is no destination and the de destination is not in, yet in sight. Now let's talk about kindness and goodness are like a gentle breeze in a world that can be harsh and cold. They can touch hearts and bring a ray of light to someone's light. It's like a single act of kindness, a smile, a helping hand. They can create ripples of hope and inspire others to do the same. Goodness is like a beautiful flower and a field of thorns, a reminder that there is still beauty and goodness to be found in the world. Being faithful and gentle may sound like foreign concepts to the world that values toughness and quick fixes. But let me tell you, there is hope in faithfulness. It's like standing firm in a storm with, with a calmness that comes from trusting in someone greater than ourselves. Faithfulness reminds us that we are not, we're not alone, that, that God is, that there is a God who loves us and is faithful to his promises. Gentleness, on the other hand, is a powerful force that can break down walls of hostility and bring healing to wounded hearts. And of course, final one is self-control. How challenging it can be, eh? We all have things we struggle with, but there is hope in knowing that we don't have to face it alone. There is a guiding force, a source of strength that can help us overcome weaknesses and make better choices. It's like having an anchor that keeps us steady amidst the raging sea of temptation. Now, you might be wondering, how can I experience this, these fruits of the Holy Spirit? It, and, and I think it starts with opening your heart, allowing the Holy Spirit to come in and work in you. It's like a seed that is planted in the soil of your heart. And as you nurture it with prayer, reading the scriptures, seeking God's presence, these fruits will begin, these fruits will begin to grow on you. You might ask, but what if I've made mistakes? What if I feel unworthy of God's love is unconditional and it knows no matter where you are, no matter what you've been, where you've been or what you've done, his love is greater than your mistakes. It's like a father who wel welcome, welcome back. It's like a father who welcomes back his prodigal son with open arms, ready to forgive. You might wonder, how can I have joy and peace in the midst of pain and suffering. It's true. Life can throw some tough challenges our way. But remember, the fruits of the Holy Spirit are not dependent on our circumstances. They come from the relationship with our God, from knowing that we are loved, we're cherished, never alone. It's like finding a hidden spring in a desert, a source of refreshment that sustains us even in the midst of driest times. Some people might ask, how can I be patient? when everything feels urgent.
Patience is a journey of learning to trust God's perfect timing. It's like a muscle that needs to be exercised and strengthened. Because as we wait on God, we grow in perseverance. We learn that his timing is always perfect. And as you cultivate kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, you might stumble along the way. And it's normal. We're all imperfect. And we all have our, have our struggles. The key is to keep pressing forward. And as you seek and cultivate kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control, you might stumble along the way, and it's normal. We're imperfect, and we all have our struggles. But the key is to keep pressing forward, to keep leaning on God's grace, and to keep surrendering to the work of the Holy Spirit in our lives. It's like a journey up a mountain, with each step bringing you closer to the breathtaking view at the top. Well, I know this because I've experienced it myself. I used to feel lost, and empty, like I was just going through the motions of life. But as I opened my heart to God's love and sought after His presence, I began to experience the transformation within me. It wasn't an instant change, but it was gradual. Like the fruits of the Holy Spirit began to take root in my life, like a beautiful garden that blossoms within its passing season. These fruits are continually working in me still, shaping me, molding me, helping me become a better person. And I want you to know that you too can experience this incredible journey of transformation. No matter how lost you are, or you think you are, there's hope for you. God's love is waiting to embrace you, to fill you with love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. So take a step of faith today, and I invite and invite the Holy Spirit in your heart. Embrace these fruits. Let them grow in you and experience the beauty of life transformed by God's love. You're not alone in this journey. God is with you every step of the way. And as you open your heart to his love, you'll find a hope that shines brighter than the stars in the darkest night. May you be inspired to embark on this journey of transformation and may the fruits of the Holy Spirit just lead you to a life filled of hope, joy, and purpose. Let the love, peace, joy, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control of the Holy Spirit flow through you like a river of living water that brings life and, f and healing wherever it goes. May God bless you and keep you.